Today is January the 29th, 2011, and we are here with Michael McClure of Lone Oak, Kentucky. And basically, we are here to ask a few questions concerning the Paducah Gaseous Diffusion Plant and its imminent closing. Michael, how are we doing today? Oh man, it's a great day to be in the bluegrass. Good deal. I agree with you. Now, I've got one question we'll go ahead and begin with. How do you think the presence of USEC and its operations in the community has affected the people and their lives? Well, I, there's no question that uh, it's McCracken County's largest employer. Over 2,000 people employed there. Uh, many people thrive on the good, better salaries, and uh, the children that go to school have the nicer things. And uh, it's just the thing for McCracken County at this time. And do you think the closing of USEC is going to affect? not only the workers, but the community as a whole? It absolutely will. The uh, economic impact will be substantial. Uh, I feel like that uh, when uh, they shut the doors at USEC, the uh, county will certainly be hurting and many people will be without a job. And do you think these workers will have, consider relocating in order to provide for their families, to be able to find a, a better means of making their way. and um, They will absolutely have to leave Paducah area uh, for uh, a better lifestyle. Unfortunately, the employment in this area is very low and no jobs that pay the kind of salaries that these people are used to uh, having. Uh, I believe that they will uh, literally pack up and move the day the door shuts at USEC. Okay, and do you believe that the workers at USEC uh, possibly have any concerns with their health uh, while working there? Well, under the circumstances, the United States government has at least completed enough research to know that there has been health hazards. Uh, from my understanding, uh, they are awarding $155,000 per person that has uh, a claim against uh, the government uh, and USEC for health issues. As with the doctor documenting it for them, they are actually receiving $155,000 at this time for their health uh, issues. Okay, and ultimately, what I would like to ask is, what do you think is going to happen after the plant shuts down, as far as the land that's, uh, see, we might have cut it. Uh, well, the land's being reclaimed, and uh, under the circumstances, due to the toxicity, uh, whether or not the building itself uh, has certain toxicity to it, I, I'm not certain, but I'm certain that they will check that out exclusively to where uh, if there's other businesses that might be able to utilize the building and the structures out that way, I'm not certain. But uh, at this time, the land is being reclaimed and they're trying to ex you know, excavate the toxins out of the soil and the streams that's in the uh, local surrounding area.